Hello, everybody. I'm Barry Tompkins, and welcome once more to Caesars Palace here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, it all started 10 weeks ago. We started with 64 players in the men's draw. We are now down to two. This one is the final. This is for all of it. Earl Strickland and Mike Siegel, two of the best players in the land, head on against each other. And joining us for expert commentary, a guy who has seen plenty of these two. He's a four-time U.S. Open champion and a three-time world champion, Steve Mizrak. And Steve, how do you see this match? And let's look at it on your scoreboard. These are two of the best players. I mean, these are number one and number two. I wouldn't want to play either one. Throw away the scoreboard. I mean, even up, everywhere, straight down the line. Tremendous matchup here. I don't know who's going to win. All right, that being said, then what about Mike Siegel. What does he have to do to win this match? He's got to control his emotions. Don't worry about the shot clock. And finally, what about Strickland? What does he have to do? He's got to keep Mike off the table. He's got to make the nine. If he makes the nine, he wins. Keeping the player's mind on business. That's really the bottom line. You know, you have to be there physically, but you have to be aware of everything that's going on. Mistakes, one or two mistakes can beat you at any time. And concentrating is one of the big roles in this game. Uh, well, the concentration is a big part of the game. I find that when I'm playing real good, I'm concentrating well, and it's just something that comes as I keep winning matches in the tournament. When I'm not playing good, it just seems like I can't get my concentration, and it's something that I don't believe anybody knows why or what causes it. It's just something that when you're playing good, you've got your total concentration, and uh, everything seems to fall in place. Cogent words from the participants. Well, Steve and I are going to go up to the booth and watch this with you, and we'll be back with a break. Barry Tompkins with Steve Mizrak. We're at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the Brunswick World Open Nine Ball Championship, and this, folks, is, in fact, the championship. Earl Strickland versus Mike Siegel. Numbers one and two, really, in the world. These are the two best players right now in the game of pocket billiards. This one is for the money. That's Mike Siegel on the left with the mustache, and Earl Strickland on the right with the mustache. <laughs> In the final, Str uh, Strickland and uh, Mike, I, I believe Mike has beaten Strickland uh, more times than, than Strickland has beaten Siegel. It's time for a nine-bagger. Nine. He'll break left to right. Strickland right now is playing better than Mike. I'm going to pick Strickland in this match. I think he could be right, actually. I'm not going to go against you. I've been doing that for the last ten weeks. I didn't like Mike's break right away. Didn't hit him solid. Look where the cue ball is. It's not in the middle of the table. But I hit him. We're going to take another look at this break. Because I was making balls. Watch the cue ball slide down. You don't want that to happen. You want the cue ball to wind up in the middle of the table, even if you don't make anything. So Earl Strickland will shoot first in Greensboro, North Carolina. Tough layout right here. What I think he should do, I don't know if he uh, if he thinks the same way I do right now. Uh, looks like he's looks like he's cutting the one in the side. You see the shot clock ticking down. I made mean, a nice shot there. Shot clock ticking down. Got down about six seconds. Now that has not been a problem for Earl Strickland throughout the nope. competition here for all these weeks. But it has been a problem for Mike Siegel. It was a definitive problem in a semifinal match with Buddy Hall. Could have a quick game here. Can a nine billiard off to two, Barry? Earl Strickland likes those kinds of shots, and he's had great success with them. See, he can play a double shot here. He can almost play the nine and play safe. Tried the nine. Didn't make it. He also tried to play safe and got away with it. He, Mike can hit the two, but he has no no pocket. Uh, the pocket here is blocked up. What he can try to do, possibly, is bank the two right here this way. But I think Mike starts to think he's going to play safe. He's going to shoot at the two, knock the two down here, and bring the cue ball right here behind the three ball. Well, I call him Captain Hook, and it is for that reason that... He plays these kinds of shots extremely well. Look at this shot. Perfect. Left the alley. Left the alley. Oh, God. Right in the window. Right in between the five and the six. He can shoot this two right here. Uh-oh. 
He overcut it. He did. But he didn't leave Siegel a shot. No, he didn't. He overcut it for a specific reason. First time getting started, I guess. If he undercut it, that ball would have hung right in the hole. And Siegel would have had a shot at the two. Since he overcut it, he hit it off the side rail. Came back where Siegel doesn't have a shot. So what we've got right now is kind of a sparring session. Right. Where both men a little slow out of the blocks, playing more of a defensive posture. Did well to hit it. Okay, Strickland's back. So I hit it on the, you know, hit it like on that side and <laughs> keep it free as a cue ball. Never seen him hook every shot. Mike Siegel will play to the crowd a great deal. Strickland not quite as talkative. Relatively simple run out from here. Earl's got to be careful he doesn't snooker himself on the six. Great shot. Earl's been making great shots right along. Yes. Too hard, but he's okay. There's no problem. Going. Well, he's three inches out of the line. <laughs> Game one to Strickland right here. Textbook stuff here from Earl Strickland. Solid. Solid whap. When those balls go in the pocket like that. And so Earl Strickland about to run this one out. This one won't go in slow. Right in the back of the hole. And so Earl Strickland jumps out in front. One game to none. There's Mike Siegel. He's won more than seven goals. And Strickland trying to put an end to that right now. So Earl Strickland, one zip up on Mike Siegel, stands at the head of the table. How's his break? Good, good. I like his break better than Mike's. Uh, if Mike doesn't control that cue ball and wind up in the middle of the table, Earl's break is better. Gets him harder. This right here could be the tone of the whole match. What happened here is a one and the two got tied up. If the one was open, say if the one was over here, Mike would cut it in the pocket and run out. But he doesn't have a shot on the one. So you can't finish if you can't start, right? Now well, that shot clock is working again. Mike's gonna hear 15 seconds pretty quick. It's a 20 right now, 19. You watch it tick down, they're gonna say 15. Listen. He's looking to play the combination now. Got Made it. it. He just nipped the seven. Great shot. Well, look where the two ball's going. Two ball wound up. Looks like it wound up right in front of the pocket. Looks like Mike has to play another combination. The one into the two. Should have no problem with this. See if success breeds success. Won't hit this hard either. Position play. Got it. Well. He had to make sure he controlled that one. So he really didn't want to smack that ball real hard. Mike should have no problem running the rest of these. Only the five might give him a problem. Now he is to position himself from the three to the four. So this is a race to nine format. First player to nine wins it. 
in this case, wins the $15,000 prize money and the title world Touch, champion. Touchy shot right here, Barry. He's got to go two rails. Looks like he's going two rails. No? Yep. No, please hit it. Well, Mike got a lucky break there. He'll take all of those he can get. Uh, I don't blame him. General consensus is that he gets more lucky breaks than anybody out there. There's Earl Strickland. I kind of agree with the general consensus. <laughs> Never a doubt. Yeah, he can play. He can do two things. <coughs> he can shoot the ball in the corner, or he can play the combination. But if he plays the combination, he's got to guard against the six going to the side rail. See what he can do is he can hit this eight, and make the eight in his pocket, but the six is liable to wind up here. Three combinations in this game. He should be okay. It's not the greatest in the world, but he should be okay. Keep your opponent on his seat. That's no. looks like he'll, he'll pull the cue ball back over to where his arm is, where his hand is on the table. He's got to avoid the side pocket. That's the only problem. No. Huh? Whoa! Oh, he did not. Okay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thank you. <laughs> so we're tied at one. I spun that ball. And Earl Strickland I mean, I spun the ball. This guy gets the ball. Earl Strickland has won three of the last four games to take a four to two lead as he prepares to break. These are the finals of the Brunswick World Open Nine Ball Championships. It's been going on for a long time. It's a long road to this point. Yeah. And that's a pretty good break. Come on, one. Yeah. Earl again. Simple run out. Three balls on the break. Absolutely no problem. He's total control. Get on the five, shoot to six on the side, eight in the corner. Game over. Five, two. And he's just playing very consistent pool. He overdrew the ball. He's got, he's got to come off the side rail. No problem. Mike looks worried. As well he should. This for 5-2. And Earl Strickland will still be at the table. There it is. <laughs> really playing with a lot of confidence. This match is worth $8,000. That's a big difference. Let's take a look at the break to start this whole thing as you watch the nine ball drop. Here it is. He's hitting him hard. Three balls went in Three, here. Nine almost went in. Look at the one coming down, almost getting blocked out by the eight. If the one stopped a uh, foot shorter, Earl wouldn't have to run out. So you have to have it rolling for you. Right now, Earl has it rolling. He really does. He managed to spread the balls all over the table. He's found his break spot on the table, and he's hitting. He's wailing away. There he is again. There goes the yeah. nine. Oh, he was going. Crowd fired up here. It was going. Oh, it was going. Going, going. I'm going to watch the nine going. ball here. That nine going right towards that pocket. Looks like it was in. Bing. Seven hits it, stays out. Safety. He's going to play safe. He's either going to play safe, knock the one ball over here, make the cue ball come two cushions from right back here. Knocked it right on the lines you drew. No, he didn't hold the one closer to that rail. Gave him a little window there. No. I'm just trying to put him behind the five, and I can't do it. The score is five to two. He's eight feet away from the one. On the rail, tough shot. But if I had anybody shooting this shot, 
this is the guy who would want I would want to shoot consistent shot maker consistent game it's been sitting for a little while great shot great shot great roll Mike better get out here. Draw back for the four. No problem right here, Barry. Four to the five, the orange ball. Five to the six on the side. Pull over for the seven. Follow it up, play the eight in the corner and the nine in the same pocket, the seven went in. Taking a look at the seven and the nine. Got to pull it over, pull the cue ball over. It's going down to the bottom rail and coming back up. There's the seven and nine. And there's the shot, six drops, two rails. Perfect. Oh, he can do one of two things. He can draw back. Or you can hit it high. Brings it back for the eight. The textbook stuff here from both players. There's the eight, and now the nine, and this will make it five games to three. First I, to nine I wins the championship. Really wouldn't expect anything else from these two guys. Really. Five games to three. I'm Barry Tompkins with Steve Mizrak. We're at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Fun. Is he a surgeon? <laughs> Earl's gonna get a little water. Getting thirsty. I don't blame him. Here's My mouth could get, get a little dry for 15,000. That nine ball come close. Dude. Right on the lip. Yeah. But nothing went. Mike See you later. Mike does not well, have I mean, any rolls. Hits him like that, makes two balls. I mean, what is it? You know what I mean? This, is, this game is... Uh, Gonna be over quick right here. Looks like it. He's got the one right here. He's got to pull it back right about here for the two. Well, he's very careful. He didn't want to draw the cue ball on the side. Nine ball right here. Combination. No problem. Very easy. There it is. <laughs> easy game for Earl Strickland. Six games to three. He'll take all of those he can get. Here's, here's another look at the combination on the nine ball to win game number nine. Three into the six, into the nine. Three ball combination. Uh, Let's take another shot. look at his break. This is Siegel's break to start. Now watch the nine ball. Left of your screen. He didn't make any ball on the break. If he did, Mike would have won the match, won, won the game. Not the match. The match is far from being over. Six games to three. Strickland, though, in the catbird seat. There it goes. Made it on the the break. nine. That's two quick games. I would think those are the kinds of things that if you're Mike Siegel, you got to be gnashing your teeth at this point. Well, it upsets you. There goes the nine. Most of the nine is always going towards the left hand corner pocket. Seven three. A couple of cheapies, and he'll take them all. Jay Holford, our referee, is. Making sure all those balls are tight. You hear Earl Strickland kind of say under his breath, two more racks, two more racks, trying to get himself pumped up. He is an emotional player. But his emotions I mean, in this case, the fact that this whole tournament like helped him three or four racks. rather than hurt him. And Siegel continues to schmooze with the crowd here. He wanted to make a ball real bad that game. That's an old pool term, isn't it? Schmooze. <laughs> Come on, line up. Look where Earl's cue ball is. Absolutely, positively perfect. Right in the middle of the table. He's got a good opening right here. He's got the two ball right along the side rail. But he's got a little problem. A little problem with the three. He's got a little problem with the three and the eight. So what he's going to try to do is make this ball come over here, try to open these balls up, or get behind them right here. 
So first things first. And there's the first thing. Now here's the next. Perfect shot. Once in a while I'm right. Uh, most of the time. <laughs> he could have got a little better break on the three. Although for a player of his style, should be an easy shot. Four next. Oh, the ball twisted. Oh, what happened there, Barry? Once in a while. What did that ball do? Once in a while, the ball twists. I knew it was going to skid, too. And, and the ball will come up short, which means it, it doesn't cut. And it's an unexplainable factor that does happen once in a while. Didn't seem to upset Earl Strickland too much. Could play a large factor in this match. Would have been 8-3. That's right. That's 7-3 now. Mike Siegel's going to have to get get. It's going to be 7-4 now. If Mike wins this match, if he wins, the turning point of the match is that twist right there. And it, it wasn't a bad hit by Earl. It wasn't a bad shot by Earl. It's just an unexplainable fate that does happen in this game where the, the ball grabs and goes the other way. Happened at a very bad time for that man. Oh, is that a miracle? hear him say that's a miracle and, and it does happen but uh, not too often it just happened to have happened to Earl right there oh my oh, god look what he did here look what he did here unbelievable oh, that's not too good oh bad now, what is it for fun what does he do with that Steve oh he's got a bank it. that was that was he's got to bank the nine over in this pocket right here I'm but Rockefeller if he misses me. it He's got to make sure he doesn't miss it off this rail. He's got to shoot this ball off the side rail right up here. So here's the he shot. He can't go low on this. If he goes anywhere, he better go high. Made it. That's a great shot. Nice comeback shot by Mike Siegel. So it is seven games to four as Mike Siegel gets himself right back into it. He'll still be there when we come back. Here's another look at the shot that you say could be the turning point of the match, Steve. Right. What happens here is he, he didn't cut it enough, but the ball twisted on him, which means the ball went the other way. He wanted to cut it more, but Brutal. the ball grabbed. And it's just an unexplainable There's no phenomenon. explaining it. No, it doesn't. No. Oh, that was really a crucial miss and as you said he didn't miss hit it no nevertheless mike siegel made a tough what? shot oh, all right no. didn't didn't go nah. they're oh, yelling for yeah. mike yeah, that nine ball keeps going cl close to the pocket all the time got an escort oh. here and the four ball kept it out look what i see here let me let me, let me explain something what could happen here he could very simply make make the nine go in this pocket. If he hits it off the rail here into the four, the nine's going to go across the table into the corner pocket. Now let's see if he can do it. Fascinating shot here if he makes it. Oh, that's impossible. Oh, he hit it bad. He hit it bad. Look at this. That's I can't, How could that ball not go in off the four? Well, huh? That's exactly what you were saying, that it could. Now let's take a look at it. We'll have a close look, Steve. Okay, he... He went behind the four. Look where he hit it too too deep. He went behind the four and caught the four off the rail. Jeez, that's unbelievable. I thought for sure the nine was gonna go in. So did he. Tough shot for Earl. Full length of the table. Uh, well, you're talking about some crucial shots. That was crucial. Mike has no oh, shot. was that ever crucial? Mike is going to wind up playing safe. Looks like he's going to shoot the two down past this ball and put the cue ball right here. Another phenomenon about this sport, Steve, that's fascinating for me, is it's the only sport I can think of where the competitors actually talk it over with the crowd. Yeah. Relaxes you. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Lee Trevino's the same way in golf. Yeah, he is. 
Chi Chi. A couple of the other guys sure. I know. Earl has no way to hit this ball. He's got to go three rails. And hope, hope and cross it right this way, back down. Hopefully he's going to hit this ball. He got it. Great shot. He went off my lines about that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Safety coming up. Here's the tactical side of Mike Siegel right here. Yeah, it's a great shot. He's got to keep playing and keep playing these saves until Earl makes some kind of mistake. So Earl, what he's going to try to do this time is to go down to the bottom rail right here and come back up and hit this ball. Got it he again. Did. Almost knocked Good it in shot. the hole. Oh! Earl got away with a shot again. Earl's running lucky. Here's what happened this time. Tough guy to follow, huh? He came close to the five, but... <laughs> Even if he can make the two in this side pocket, he can't get positioned down for the three, which is right here. Very tough to do. And he's thinking. He doesn't know what to do. Safety coming up here, I'll bet. He's got 10 seconds left. He better pull the trigger pretty soon. Yeah, all right. He got away with it. Nice shot. He got away with it, but Earl's right. got I was a, trying to do that. Earl's got an easy hit here. He can go off the side rail back here, hit this two, and he could very possibly snooker Mike for the for the next shot with the cue ball remaining down in this area, put in a two oh, ball okay, back please. up. Earl, the master of the jump shot, can't jump this far. <laughs> That's a long jump. Watch the two. Two might stay up. Oh, hit the seven. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. Here's another look at it. Tough man to follow. He just skimmed the two. Kept the two on this side of the table and put the cue ball up top. Siegel said he's a tough man to follow. Yeah, it is. This game's being played like a championship game. No, it's getting late. It's getting late, he said. I'm going to try to cut it in. When he says that, I know what he's doing. Right behind the seven. He's going to cut it right in. Close. Mike is missing. When he's on, he makes those doing. shots. Two in the upper corner this time. Pull back off this rail. Four to three in this pocket right here. So now Strickland can take care of some business on his own. Well, the four and six are tied up. No pocket for the four. It looks like he can make the four in the pocket by the seven. Good shot. He's got to pick this clean. Better watch out here. If he hits that six, it's a foul. If he hits it first. Shot. Good shot. Three rails on the cue ball. Cut the five right in this pocket. Cue ball here, here, back out here. Make the six on the side. Oop, oop. Bad shot. Ah, dog it. I don't, oh, please. I don't know if he's got room to make that ball. Looks like he does. 
take a second to think oh, about yeah, this. Oh, yeah, he's got plenty of room. I'm scared of the ball skidding, so I went into the eight. That handheld on the floor is doing a wonderful job. He's a great cameraman down there. Want to take a bow, Jeff Zachary? Great <laughs> shot. How about that? Take a bow there, Earl Strickland. 8-4, Strickland. Strickland's playing great. Siegel's not giving him anything. He's taking it. Let's not forget about the other cameraman, too, I'll tell you. But they're on tripods. Uh, the other guy's uh, got one on his shoulder. This guy's been out here for 10 weeks. <laughs> so eight games now to four, and Strickland on the hill. We'll be back to Caesars Palace in Las Vegas after this. Jim Bakula, he's Stretch. not too happy. He's not smiling now. He's here with a check in his pocket, though, to give to the winner. But Mike's not ahead. Mike works for him. Eight to four. Mike, <laughs> say a few prayers. Well, there's a real key shot right here. Hope to nine doesn't go. There it Ooh, goes. Out, there it is. On the break. Oh, he scratched. He scratched. He scratched. How do you like it? Watching the nine ball go in the hole, so was everybody in oh this arena. God. It went in the hole, but so did the cue ball. They saw the nine go in the hole, and everybody, everybody got up. What a break. What a break. Look at that. Look That's at what this. everybody saw, including Unbelievable. me. Unbelievable. You caught the cue ball yes, going Yes, I in. did. I knew I was going to ask. I know everything that's going to happen. Are you going to win? <laughs> <laughs> he's talking negative now. <laughs> but he's so far ahead. Mike has a tough run out here. There is no tomorrow. Taking a long look at this. That's the ball he has to hit. Two ball. We'll reverse English here. Great shot. Great shot. He's got a stretch. He's got a shoot over ball. And he's got to get position for the four. Make sure he comes out far enough off the rail so he avoids the six. Good shot. He's got it going right now. Long way back, though. Trails by four games. He hasn't won this one yet. You know, again, you can't emphasize enough that you can make eight balls here, and the only one that really matters is that striped one to the left of your screen. Should put it away now. No problem. So it's 8-5. Strickland can only nod his head, sit there. No Disbelief. control. Dramatically. Disbelief. He, he's, he's not believing what happened before. Smiling, but secretly, underneath. I think he's smiling through clenched teeth. It's hurting him a little bit. He wants to be the best player. And in his mind, he is the best player. And there's... In a lot of people... I was just going to say, he has player. a lot of support to that. What? Yes. So the nine ball drops, and the cue ball doesn't for Mike Siegel. One. 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 <laughs> one. Two. What a, Miz, what a four in a row go in, huh? Whoa. Huh? Is We're it really there? Shoot out here. There's another Nine right. Ugh. 
Four almost kicked it out. Four was very kind. Here's another look from up top. Split them wide open. Clear out the alley. Nine one, and One. That was one. Mike well, wants, six. He wants to make four in a row. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> he yelled up to me, is it possible? Huh? Again, he's I'm rallying on. the crowd. Earl's just Three quiet. More. Earl wants to win real bad. Trying to keep his concentration. The longer he sits, the harder that is to do. Here's Mike Siegel again. Eight, six. First to nine wins the championship. $8,000 difference. First to no. second. Here. Seven rock? It's all right. Okay. Mike's pumped up now. <clears throat> well, he's got the one into this pocket right here. What's he going to do with the two? Got to look to play a combination. What he's going to do? Better be concerned with making the one. He's going to play what we call cinch pool. Make sure he makes every shot. Got that one in. Cinch. Safety. Coming right here. That incidentally is what he meant by cinch. He's going to. Clip the two. Maybe put the cue ball down over by behind these walls right here. I'd be surprised if he goes with his bank. Yes. He, yeah. He tried it. It's something. He tried it. That's un Don't line up. Oh. Look at this ball. What is oh. that doing? Uh, well, now what? Bad. I, I don't know what ball. he was thinking about gone. there. Huh? Look at how bad I hit that. Man, oh man. <laughs> there again, you talk about your bad shots, you don't talk about the good shots. Why don't you come back and talk about dropping that nine ball? <laughs> well, we've got a combination and a run out. He's got to play position on the two. If he gets position on the two, I think he's going to win. There's the eight ball. Remember, he only needs this game. Well, the length of the table sitting in the chair a long time but this is a strong point making these type of shots he's gonna walk the nerves off here he's got the whole length of the table the whole length of the table to make this ball in this pocket come off the rail right about here and make the three next he feels tough it shot. he feels a tough shot oh fire that's a big fire shot. that's a big shot now he can relax no, he can't relax until the nine goes in. Yeah, that, no, that's true, but that was a real pressure shot oh. for him. And he definitely pressure. had a little bit of case of nerves. See what he did after he made that? He clenched fist. He better oh. get out here. Oh. Stop right there. Don't give Mike Siegel another oh, chance. Darling. Mike's looking... Like he's resigned to the fact that he's going to finish second. Four in there. the pocket, draw a little back to the five. Well, he's off my line a little. Not too bad. Don't get straight. That's one important thing he doesn't want to do. I've been doing oh, it all my oh. life, and I did it again. He doesn't want to. He didn't want to do that. He he's straight in. He has no angle to come off the rail. He's going to have to really rifle his ball in. Oh, that's a big shot. Uh-oh. what I tell you? Look at the break he got. Really he tried, to, tried to play it the way you said. I keep doing it. I get straight in every time. Oh. I can't get anywhere else but straight in. Oh, Just amazing. My. He got away with one, though. Mike has got to make some shot here. Psychological edge now goes to Mike Siegel. No, <laughs> I am glad I am up here. I'm fainting on every shot up here. Earl Strickland's got to sit and think about that one. Well, he's going to try to cut this in, I hope. He did. 
Now what? Oh! Now what? Ah, uh, there we go. Now what? That's what I wanted. This is in the hangar. Uh, cut this one if I miss it, right? <laughs> this one goes in the upper corner. He's gonna, tr he's gonna try to make it all the way down here, slice his ball. I think he'll make it, Barry. This parade seven. He makes this, he'll bring the house down. If he misses it, he might lose the match. He will lose the match. No good. Oh, Didn't get it, and now. Over. Looks like Earl's a winner. I can handle this one. <laughs> he can handle it. <laughs> he did. Earl Strickland. He's the champion. Great match. Great final match. Number one and number two, and the hot player this year has won it. Earl Strickland beats was, Mike Siegel. He was very confident, very confident there. That was a great win for him. He is pumped up now. That's the first time he's smiled, I think, in about a week. <laughs> Earl Strickland, nine games to six over Mike Siegel. Wasn't easy, but it was pretty. Look at the he fit. wins it. Welcome back to talk with the winner after this. You know, it struck me. I, I almost wish it could have been in the audience. It's a great match to watch. <laughs> well, I used to be in the audience, but uh, I'm up here playing now. And Mike's a great competitor, and uh, it came down to me and him. I was number one, he's number two, and uh, I think that's the way I should have been. Yeah, two great players, and that's got to be that much more gratifying, the fact that you did beat a guy like Mike, Mike Siegel. Well, he's not easy to beat. I think he taught me how to play. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.